Hi friends, welcome to Fresh's World YouTube channel Jobs and Careers. Today we will solve some questions on profit and loss. Sometimes profit and loss questions might include partnership, ratio and proportion, allocation and mixture etc. So if you have any doubts regarding any of these sections, please refer to the videos which we have uploaded on these topics earlier in this channel. So let's begin. A started by business. After four months, B and C, the investment of A, B and C equals 4 is to 6 is to 5. If A's share in annual profit was rupees 250 more than C's share, What is the total annual profit earned? So this is the question. So here it is given that A, B and C invested in the ratio 4 is to 6 is to 5. So let's say the investment of A B and C B 4x 6x and 5x respectively. And here it is given that A's share is rupees 250 more than C. That means A equals 250 plus C. So, we need to calculate the total annual profit. So, based on the question, we know that A invested for 12 months and B and C invested for 8 months. So, value of A will be 12 into 4x equals 250 plus 8 into 5x. It means x equals 250 by and that equals 31.25. So we got value of x equals 31.25. Now we need to find total annual profit. So annual profit will be Twelve into four x plus eight into six x plus eight into five x that equals forty eight x plus forty eight x plus forty x that equals ninety six plus forty. 136x. We know that value of x equals 31.25. So 136 into 31.25 that equals 4250 upon solving. So annual profit equals rupees 4250. Moving on to the next question. A and B started a business with the investment in the ratio 5 is to 3 respectively. After 6 months from the start of the business, C joined them and the respective ratio between the investment of 
B and C plus 2 is to 3. If the annual profit earned by them was rupees 12,300, what was the difference between B's share and C's share in the profit? Difference between B's and C's share. So here it is given that ratio between A and B equals 5 is to 3 and B and C equals 2 is to 3. So let's convert this. So 5 is to 3 can be written as 10 is to 6 and 2 is to 3 can be written as 6 is to 9. So we can say that the investment can be 10x, 6x and 9x respectively for A, B and C. So their profit ratio will be Twelve into ten x since A invested for twelve months is to twelve into six x. B also invested for twelve months and six into nine x. That equals. So here we can cancel out six. Twenty is to. 12 is to 9. We get the ratio, profit ratio as 20 is to 12 is to 9. Our question is to find the difference between B's and C's here. So, here we can use proportional division. We know that the annual Profit is rupees twelve thousand three hundred. So this have this have to be divided into twenty is to twelve is to nine. So we have total forty one parts. Twenty plus twelve plus nine. So by using proportional ratio, difference between B's and C's share will be 12 minus 9 by 40 into rupees 12,300. 3 by 40 into 2300. Upon solving this, we get the value as rupees 900. A seller marks the price 50% above the cost price and gives 10% discount on an item. So, MRP equals 50% plus cost price and gives 10% discount. By selling, he cheats the customer by giving 20% less in weight. Find the overall profit percentage. So this is an approximation question. Let's consider cost price B rupees 100 for 100 grams of an item, which means MRP equals this 150. That is 100 plus 50 percent, 50. And also it is given that he gave a discount of 10 percent. So the selling price equals rupees 
150 minus rupees 15, 10% discount. That equals rupees 135. Also, it is given that he cheats the customer by giving 20% less in weight, which means he actually sells only 80% of the actual weight. That equals. So, we have taken it as 100 gram here. So, he sells only 80 grams for rupees 135. We need to find the profit percentage. Only 80 grams being sold for rupees 135, which means the selling price for 1 gram equals 135 by 80 and that equals 1.6875 so from the cost price we know that cost price for 1 gram equals 1 root and the selling price of 1 gram equals 1.6875. So, when we compare selling price and cost price, we know that there is 0.68 rupees profit percentage equals 68% approximately. A shopkeeper bought 84 identical shirts priced at rupees 240 each. So, total cost price equals 240 into 84, which equals. He spent a total of rupees. 3200 on transportation. Transportation. Three thousand two hundred. He puts the label of mark price of rupees four twenty on each shirt. He offered a discount of 15% on each shirt at mark price. What is the total profit? Of the shopkeeper in the whole transaction. Cost price equals plus 32,000 I equals okay so the MRP is given as purpose 420 and a discount of 15% is given selling price will be rupees 420 into 0.85 since the discount of 15% is given 100 minus that equals 85.85 and that equals rupees 357. So, total selling price equals 84 into rupees 357 that equals Twenty nine thousand nine hundred eighty eight. So we have selling price and total cost price. So profit equals two nine nine eight eight minus twenty three thousand three 
eight, two, six, six. So A, B, and C started a business with their investment in the ratio. One is to three is to five. After four months, A invested the same amount as before. B as well as C withdrew half of their investment. The ratio of their profit at the end of the year. We need to find the ratio of profit at the end of the year. A invested same amount and B and C withdrew half of their investment. So let's consider the investment of A, B and C B 1x, 3x and 5x. So for the first four months their investment was 4 into 1x, 4 into 3x and 4 into 5x. Next eight months Their investment was 8 into 2x. A invested the same amount. And for B, we drew half the investment. So that will be 8 into 1.5x. And C also withdrew half of the investment. That will be 8 into 2.5x. Therefore, profit ratio will be 4x plus 16x, 12x plus 12x is to 20x plus and that equals 20 is to 24 is to 40. So divided by 4, so that equals 5 is to 6 is to 10, which is the annual profit ratio. You all have understood all the questions which are solved here. So if you have any doubts, please do comment below. And if you found this video useful, please like this video. And for more videos, please subscribe to our channel. Good luck with your preparation. Thank you.